outside the Western Cape, about an hour and a half. It's known to have big bass. So Kyle's fishing with a Snobby Spectre RMX 8 weight. We're going to pair that with a Shilton SL5. I've got the Moonshine Vespa 8 weight here mm. and it's kind of cool now. Look at that. Yes, that looks good, Rude. So I gave this to Chris to use yes, for some saltwater nice. fish. It has not <laughs> been taken out. Look how keen it still is. It's brand new. Chris has not used it. So I'm glad he brought it so that it can see can some action. Used, yeah. Yeah. Does it still smell new? Well, it doesn't smell like fish, that I can tell you. <laughs> a little tip. That's what she said. Yeah. In other words, you're admitting that Carl's a better fisherman. Yes. Not at all. Not he at all. is. I, I don't think he's a better fisherman, I just think he has more luck. Um, and like we know, fishing is all about luck. I just think the fish like his scent more or something like that. <laughs> more approachable. Yes, he's a much more approachable person. We're fishing around the structure, aiming, aiming towards and delivering the flies as close as possible to the structure. Look at this little bay it creates. So what's cool is it makes a little channel that goes in. So it's flat and then in the middle of the bay it, make, it makes like a deep section. Yeah. So you cast across and then you bring it over this sort of drop off that it creates and that's where we'll be looking for the fish. There's a big drop off here and then we're fishing the structure that's actually under the water so it's not necessarily the structure that's on the bank. Smallest bass in the world. How's that on a sex dungeon? Look at the size of the fly versus the size of the fish. Oh yes! They like the glitter, they're flashy like that, bro. So we found some good numbers of fish here. They're not massive, but I mean, we're working through them. Maybe there's a bigger fish there. And um, I'm gonna... Oh, Kyle, set that hook. You gotta set that hook. Anyway, um, I'm putting on a popper to see if we can get some cool surface action. Oh, you see. Most of it is still behind it. <laughs> Damn, I wish that fish was bigger, <laughs> but it's still so much fun. Oh, I'm dead! Oh. See that subtle take? These are largemouth bass. You can check that massive mouth for the size of this fish. I mean, that big crease fly is nothing for that fish. Slow retrieve and she fought nicely. She just as she hits you, she just goes deep. And it just shows you that they stay, they they they're comfortable going deep. So moving forward for the rest of the day, I think we should focus on the deeper holes like this. So tile, <laughs> tile over here. Car tied these massive orange sex dungeons. I'm gonna try now. So it's an articulated fly, so it's got two hooks. Fluorescent orange marabou, a lot of crystal flash, silly legs, it's got some weight, it's just an incredible fly. This is a very good metaphor for my day. <laughs> Put it 
out there and I just kept popping, chuk, 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 and I stopped for a second, I looked away, and then I just heard, whoop, typical of a bat. So they just sit under the surface and open their mouths, and then the fly just went inside, tight. Yes, look at that fish. Gone. Yes, please. Booties. Awesome. I left you hanging there.